Mary Flora Bell. Daughter of a prostitute and habitual criminal, Mary Bell never stood much of a chance at fulfilling a normal life. Accounts from family members suggest that Mary's mother, Betty, even tried to kill her several times. The family was suspicious when Mary fell from a window and accidentally consumed sleeping pills. Mary was even subjected to sexual abuse from older men directed by her own mother. In May of 1968, Mary, believed to be alone at the time, strangled a four-year-old boy. Subsequently, Mary vandalized a nursery school in Scottswood, leaving notes that claimed responsibility for the killing. Later that year, Mary struck again, this time teaming up with another girl to strangle three-year-old Brian Howe. Reports showed that Mary used scissors to cut Howe's hair and mutilate his penis. The most disturbing piece of evidence was an M found carved into the young boy's chest. After serving a 12-year sentence, Bell was finally released in 1980 and given a different name in order to start her new life. Mary's daughter had no idea of her mother's gruesome past until reporters found them in 1998. In 2003, Bell won a court case to once again have her anonymity extended, this time for life. Thanks for joining us on this epic journey of killer kids. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let us know by liking this video and leaving a comment below. If you can't get enough of Capital, be sure to check out one of these other videos. Finally, before you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and be a part of our awesome community. Catch you next time, killers!